the most sci-fi looking earbuds I've ever seen, these are the Sirius Pro by Gravastar. Featuring exclusive DSP audio algorithms and reduced latency, these buds seem to offer great comfort and unmatched audio experience. But do they? Let's inspect! Hi everybody! Welcome Tech Pro Channel, Michael is my name and this here is actually a pair of Bluetooth earbuds. Uh, in a matter of fact, it's the second Graverstar unit that I test after I've tried the Mars Pro, the weirdest looking speaker in the world, which also happens to produce really amazing sound. So now I'm really curious what Graverstar have done with their sci-fi design and in terms of audio quality with the P9 model Therefore, in this video, a thorough inspection highlighting all the good, but also all the bad in order to find out whether that's the right fit for you. The Kravastar P9, which are also known as Sirius Pro, belong to the upper mid-range earbud segment, with prices starting at US$129 US and going up to US$149 for the premium so-called War Damaged Editions, which have the same hardware qualities, however look much more exciting. Clearly, in terms of design, they do stand out, and since there's not much of competition about sci-fi unique design, let's assume that's alright for this niche. Unboxing has been a lot more exciting than usual. It's one of these boxes I'd never throw away, because it looks so cool. Looks like having a very special layout has been the leading idea, and so far, really well implemented. First thing to take out is the case with the earbuds. This here is the so-called War Damaged Grey Edition. Its rugged design and tin alloy material promise good durability, and it's a fact that even if you drop it on the ground or scratch it somehow, it's gonna look even better and more authentic, so it feels like keeping these in the long run is gonna make good sense. In terms of accessories, three sizes of ear tips, a neck strap and charging cable. Also, the user manual, which I strongly recommend to begin with because there is no smartphone app, and it would be a good idea to take a note about the controls, because they are a little different to the setup of most other earbuds. The case opens very easily through the push button, has a spring to lift the cover up and access the buds easily. There are magnets which keep contact with the pins, but with a stronger shake they could fall out, thus the locking mechanism. If so far you share the same excitement as I do, perhaps giving them a 5-star rating for the design and the build quality sounds reasonable enough. As for specifications, 7.2mm dynamic drivers, battery life per charge is around 4 hours, there are a few inbuilt equalizer presets, touch-based controls, ability to use your preferred smart assistant, 400mAh battery inside the case, in-ear detection, bottle opener integration, IPX5 water and dust resistant, environmental noise cancelling for the microphones, a weight of only 6 grams per bud. Look at it, <laughs> so small, yet so powerful. But in terms of specs, I'm with kind of mixed feelings, because on one side you have up to 4 hours worth of battery life, which is not great now in the end of 2022. Um, and on top of that, they weigh one or two grams more than many other competitors, which can last almost up to twice more per charge. But there's a good explanation. First of all, it's the good build quality. Secondly, they also use Noel's balanced armature, which is a small piece of armature driver, which is in combination to the original 7.2 mm driver. And that's done in order to enhance the realism, the quality, the fidelity which they do achieve pretty well. But funny enough, the first time I've put them inside my ears and I've played the track, they were sounding super flat. And I was really surprised, then figured out it must be the ear tips. So the first thing you should do is to check each one of the ear tip sizes because they arrived with the smallest one and it turned out that to me, the best fit is with the largest one. And ever since, the bass feels amazing, which is typical for Gravastar products because they usually have a bit more focus towards the bass side. In terms of dynamics, really great. Uh, clarity, maybe in some of the mid-tones, is not superb. And uh, now let's carry on and do some more testing. Uh, I'll tell you more about the sound and also want to tell you about the controls, the software features, the ergonomics, and also we're going to test the microphone quality. 
inside the ear, at least in my case, was great. Good for sports, they won't fall out if you're jumping or running, even if you get really sweaty, that's gonna be fine. Again, I remind you that each and every person's ear shell is different, so you may have different feeling about them. Make sure to carefully choose the right set of ear tips, otherwise the audio quality will be compromised. Connecting to the smartphone is really easy. Just discover them, grant the necessary permissions, done. AAC codec is the only extra that you're going to get, so if you're looking for high-res audio or APTX, it's not present. Controls are quite straightforward. I don't like the fact that single taps are engaged, because with capacitive buttons there always might be missed touches. Luckily, it's about pausing and playing music, so it's not too critical. They can recognize up to four taps. This would launch your smart assistant, depending on the phone. It could be Google Assistant, Alexa or Siri. There are three sound settings which get audible announcement when you switch between those. Music mode, gaming mode and movie mode. With the gaming mode, latency is brought down to a minimum and it creates 5.1 virtual surround sound. Being around 60 milliseconds, it's fine with most games indeed. Movie mode enhances the high and low end spectrum so that explosions feel in a more experiential way and in music mode, there is more emphasis on the bass and the vocals. Generally, Gravastar are famous for optimizing and tuning their sound towards low end frequencies. If you don't like bass, there always is the way to reduce it by applying software equalization on your phone. I usually prefer flat kind of sound, so it takes a few seconds to achieve it. Clarity, dynamics, fidelity, excellent. Club and rap music sound phenomenal with this, and maximum volume is also quite strong, so if you like to listen to loud music with good quality, these are a great fit, especially knowing that the bass wouldn't smash too much even at the highest possible volume setting. The quality of the microphones is the next topic, but before you rate it, let me share with you that despite the fact there is no active noise cancelling, I right now feel very disconnected from whatever happens around, meaning that it really well fits inside the ear. And now it's your turn to tell me what do you think about the microphone quality? Comment down below. The case is able to recharge the buds up to four times. Per a single charge, at moderate volume, reality shows that they can last around 3 hours, then they get back inside for a recharge. It's my favorite case already, because it's the first time in my life I don't care at all if it's gonna get scratches or not. The strap function is surprisingly useful, the LEDs here also look so cool. I wish there was a way to use them as a night lamp or something, because it would have been yet another cool feature. But speaking of cool features, a beer bottle opener, I kid you not. Now, while I totally enjoyed the experience with these buds, there are a few things which could be a concern when it comes to nerdy stuff. There is no way to connect to multiple devices, no smartphone app, no active noise cancelling, no transparency mode, no fancy high-res or aptX HD codecs, no quick charging. And maybe I would have liked them even more if they were using a clicky mechanical button for controls. So, although they're called Pro, there seem to be no Pro-grade features like active noise cancelling. But despite these facts, Sirius Pro, this is their other name besides the P9, they are great about what they do. You know, namely, providing you in a sci-fi oriented shape in this very uh, unique case, giving you phenomenal, probably the best in class bass experience that you can ever think of. So, looks like the mission is well accomplished and I just hope to see them heavily discounted from time to time because their original price is a bit steep, but I'm sure that around Black Friday or other holidays you would be able to get them at a much more affordable price. So that's been everything about Sirius Pro by Gravastar. I hope it was useful enough and you had enough examples in order to find out whether that's the right fit for you. In case of questions or anything you want to share, please be invited. The comment section is down below the video. As usual, link to the product with a discount, more information about how to support the channel and so on, you can find in the video description area. That's everything for today. Really been a pleasure to see you over here and I look forward to meeting you in our next episode. Bye!